Yeah. 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 So when you when you oh. when you're going outside with a sign on, it will change to sunglasses. Oh, like this. Yeah. That's me. Okay. Now I'm in here. How come I didn't get? Because I actually like activated for the transition machine to oh, check if it's working. This is good. Yeah. So it will slowly go back to the clearance. Okay. So I I, I I forgot. I want to make sure. Now, I don't need it when I'm walking. I only need it when I'm driving and when I'm reading. Yeah. So okay. basically, you can remove it if you're walking, but um, if you're driving, you can see from you can see the hallway sign. Okay, so we just finished doing grocery shopping a little bit for the week or approximately however long it takes, you know, before we eat all this food. And there's not a lot of food that we got. Aaron, I mean, Aaron, Sam's put in the water in the car, those cases of water, because that's the kind of water we drink. Anyway, my tongue is tied. <laughs> but anyway, um,. I haven't decided when I'm going to give you guys a vlog uh, telling you what's going on, my life story, you know, what's current and what not. Some news is not the best and sad and not to be gloomy or anything, but, you know, I'm going to be sharing something with you guys real soon. And I know I said that before, but I am just haven't uh, decided when I'm going to do it yet, but... Anyway, I'm going to. I will. And I just finished listening to that song, um, Carlos, by Carlos Santana, Maria, 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 Maria. How many of you guys like that song? I love that song. Ooh. <laughs> Say hello to the vlog after your cough. Hello. <laughs> it's, um later in the evening and we are going back to the place where we're temporarily staying so i'm going to show you guys a haul you know nothing super duper but before i do you guys probably haven't heard um i don't know how many people hear news about california but you know i'm in a different city i'm not in la but one of our um hobby lobbies is a hobby lobby yeah hobby lobby got um what do you call it Rob. can you turn the mu music down just for a second yeah, yeah it got robbed i guess you call it rob yeah by several people what's happening now there are a group of people and it seems like they're mostly young they get together in groups and they meet at yeah. different businesses different stores and they're looting looting if i'm saying it right and you guys probably know about this but they hit hobby lobby store and they had the sheriffs here i don't know how many days ago probably a day or two ago and we heard it on the news while laying in the bed and i said oh my gosh but anyway yeah they stole a lot of stuff i mean people were just going in there with bags and things or whatever you want to call it and just scooping up stuff just putting it in their bags and i said oh no not Hobby Lobby. I mean, no store should have that. But anyway, it's terrible. And that's the store I was going to go into and kind of like do a little, not shopping, but just looking around pretty much. And I was going to take you guys with me. If they still are open, I might go in there. Um, we'll see. But anyway, I'll catch you guys later. So, bye. Okay, we're back from the grocery store, so let me go ahead and give you that quick haul that I said I would do. We got some brown sugar hickory beans, and that's by The Bush. I got a few packs of these. It says hotter and spicier chili ramen noodles. Express. And I know those are not really that good to eat, but I just try to buy a handful at a time, like maybe four or five, instead of that big case that I used to buy. Not good to eat, but they're so good, especially with soup, because I like to mix. Um, I'm gonna show you one of the soups that I like to mix the noodles in. It's so good. Oh man, it's so soothing and warm, and like today is so, so cold. So that will make a good, nice, hot soup. Then we got some Folgers coffee. 
that's the K-Pod. And then I've got one of my originals, the Colombian K-Pods. Got some bread. And this is the Healthy Habits Light Multigrain 40 Calorie. I only got it because it was a cheaper bread. Because, you know, bread is expensive. They have bread that's like four or five dollars. I'm like, no, 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 no. Forget it. If that's what bread costs, I don't need to eat it. Okay? And it's better than white bread. So let me go ahead and get the next bag going. Okay, we got some cantaloupe. Yum, yum. My grandmother, when she used to be here, she used to love cantaloupes. That was one of her favorite fruit. And I got another cup of noodle. I mean, this is a cup. The other ones are packs. Got some scallions. Onion. Some chicken. I don't know what hubby is going to want to fix with this. Or have me fix with it. But should be very interesting. Then I've got some pepper jack, shredded pepper jack. Cause I have never had pepper jack in my salad. Not like this. So I decided to get it in the shredded kind. Should taste no different. Then I got a can of black beans. I'm going to take that can along with the other beans that I showed you. And there's another can and I'm going to mix it with some bouillon or some vegetable um, broth. Cut up some of these in there. It's going to be so good. Just kind of make it like a soup type. It's going to be so good. Maybe some tomato and apples. Then a little bit of watermelon chunks and I better hurry up and get that in the refrigerator. So let me go ahead and do that right quick. <clears throat> okay, then I got some high energy snacks. These are nuts, nut trails. And it has um, pineapple, banana chips, coconut, ugh, I don't like coconut, cranberries, walnuts, cashews, and papaya. So I hope I like it. I didn't know it had all those fruits in there. I just grabbed it and didn't even read it. <laughs> then I got some Cheez-Its. Running out of space over here coffee creamer gotta have that and then I got some spring mix lettuce for all the salad days yeah this chili here is what I was telling you that I would add into my my noodles so it's really good so yum yum to that and then I got a bush southwest zest pinto beans um, and I'm gonna add that to I'm going to make this concoction of all these different beans and make it into a nice soup. I, I don't know. I just had this idea that I would do that. And I hope I like it. Did I show you guys the black beans? If not, there it is right there. And I decided at the last minute to get these kidney beans. I'm not really fond of kidney beans, especially if they're by themselves. But like I said, I'm going to put it into a nice big pot and be eating on beans pretty much for a few days so i don't know i'm just i had this kind of like soup idea in the mind with some maybe some bell pepper and some onion so we'll see how that turns out well we won't worry about that will we <laughs> anyway hubby got these real large gigantic bananas <laughs> i guess he likes the big bananas so i'm gonna put them right here and then I got some about four stalks of broccoli because what I'm going to do with some of these stalks, I'm going to kind of put it in my salad. I feel like something fresh, you know, when I make my lettuce and cut up all the vegetables, I want some of this in my salad to make it more um, fresh and healthy and 
good and all that other stuff. And then, last but not least for the food, I got a pineapple. You know, I've been wanting one of these pineapples fresh just like this for the longest time. I have never, well, I think I have a long time ago, bought a fresh pineapple. Can you believe that? In all the years I've been alive, I tell you, never had a fresh pineapple. Maybe I have. I'm talking about of me buying it myself. So I'm going to get one of the sharpest knives that I have and just slice it on down. <laughs> Okay, here's breakfast. Here is the pineapple that I cut up and I'm so proud of myself because it looks really good. And it was not hard to cut that big thing up. I thought it was going to be very difficult, but that knife that I was using is very sharp. And I just have my regular cup of coffee and this is the color that I like. This is perfect. Sometimes it comes out too dark and sometimes it's too light. And if it's too light, I got to darken it up. But anyway, um, I got this mug, if you guys are wondering, from Amazon. So, it's a prescription <laughs> coffee mug. <laughs> now, Hazel, if you're watching, you're probably laughing like, oh boy, there she go again with those mugs. But yes, I just, I just typed in the search bar uh, prescription <laughs> mugs and it popped up and I was like, OMG. Now this one says Las Vegas prescription. I don't know why it says Las Vegas. I didn't get it in Las Vegas, of course. But uh, I guess that's the name they chose to use. But I think it's so cute. Let me see if I can bring it up a little bit better for you guys. Coffee. And I love the fact that it's bold letters so I can see it good. Wait a minute. Oh, I should have showed it to you before I put the coffee in there. But this is so cute and has a little RX symbol on there. And it's just like a regular prescription bottle. I just love this. Isn't that cute? This is so cute. Look at that. It has all of the, you know, I wish I could read this to you guys. Because um, some of the things is really cute. Look at all these grays in my hair. Oh my gosh. Well, can't say I'm not getting old. <laughs> Look at this. Woo-wee. Telling you. Well, anyway, my hair is a mess right now, but it's evening time and I don't care how it looks. But anyway, I'm just here, sitting here drinking on my favorite sparkling water have you guys ever tried these these are called bubbly they're sparkling water and they're pretty good some people don't like it because they said it tastes like mineral water or uh, like acid not acid but that um, I can't think of what that's called but some people say it tastes nasty they don't like it but I like it I mean it gives you like a little twist flavor you know instead of just drinking plain water which you know I do drink plain water and sometimes in my water I will add some apple cider vinegar because that is very very good it has a lot of healthy um, uh, properties in it a lot of benefits to drinking um, apple cider vinegar so I put a little bit of that in my regular water not in this um, tastes nasty but just straight water 
But anywho, I got some very disturbing, kind of like bad news today, and I'm not going to go into it right now. Only thing that I will tell you guys, uh, because it's kind of personal, but I can tell you that one of the homes that we were going for, we didn't get. Ah, uh, just so, so disappointed. Very disappointed. My husband's disappointed. Our son is disappointed. But you know what? I'm just continuing to trust God. I know he's going to make a way. He's going to make a way. And that way is very, very soon right around the corner now i can't see it but i'm just trusting god to bring it to pass i mean i have to trust him so it's a bummer but you know he always comes through when you trust him so there's not much to say on that. I don't want to go too deep into it, but I'm just not in the mood <laughs> to really talk, talk, talk about it. But I hope you guys are having a great evening. Anyway, I hope that you guys, um, oh, I, f I forgot to tell you about my Mother's Day. It was it was okay. I'm, I'm gonna say it like that. I got a chance to see my mother. Um, I spent a little time with her. I brought her some flowers and a card, and um, I just spent you know a little time with her. And then I came back, and Aaron and Sam had a nice balloon for me and a card. So that was my Mother's Day gift for myself. Let me show you uh, the balloon. It's now deflated, but let me turn the camera around so you guys can see it. It's just blue with these pretty flowers on it that says Happy Mother's Day. And a nice card, but I put the card up somewhere. Did I tell you guys that I had or was going to have cataract surgery? I can't remember if one of my other videos if I told you guys or not. I think I did. Well, if, I can't remember. I'll have to go back and check my last video. But yeah, I had cataract surgery removed. Cataract, I should say, removed off of the right eye. And tomorrow, which will be the 19th of May, I'm having this one done so yeah but you know what i can see so much better out of this right eye oh my gosh now when i close this eye and look out of this one everything looks kind of like foggy not clear at all but when i close this eye oh my gosh everything is crystal clear and when i'm driving i can see the signs guys oh my gosh i'm so happy the street signs. I mean, everything is just crisp and clear. And I feel so good about that because times I was driving when this one was bad, this one was the worst. So they always start with your worst eye first. I'm telling you, when I was driving, I would be like this. Trying to see the signs. I'm like, what is that? And sometimes it came close where I almost was going to hit something. And sometimes something would appear it would to my eyes it would appear there and it was nothing there so that wasn't good and that's dangerous you know but sometimes my husband will be with me and he'll kind of help me he'll say no get in this lane over here blah 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 but anyway i'm just glad that i had this one done and tomorrow i'm gonna have this one done so yeah. hi guys I'm out of surgery and it went it went pretty good 
Um, I got these dark glasses on that they gave me, which are ugly. <laughs> and the eye patch. Look at this. It came off. Oh, boy. Making me look all weird. It was taped up pretty good, but I kind of took it off. Um, I have to wear this for three nights, but today as well. So, I put these glasses back on. Um, I had an appointment not long after the um, the surgery, and I was like, "Look, I, I can't be having tape tape all the way up here. Then I had tape down here and over here. I'm like, I got to go into my appointment looking halfway decent." <laughs> So I had to tore off some here just so I could look halfway decent and I kept my glasses on. But it went well. He removed all the cataract from both eyes, of course, this one. And um, now I just have to heal up and I can't bend over and whatnot, whatnot. But anyway, um, hubby went into Dollar Tree to pick up some uh, something for dinner. To go with dinner, I should say. Not dinner. You know, Dollar Tree does not have any good things that I would like, that he would like for dinner. So, I think he's getting some type of sauce because I'm going to make some spaghetti this weekend. So, we'll see about that. But I have an, a little bit of an unboxing. I checked my P.O. Box office. I checked my P.O. Box and I had a, a Amazon package. It was... Well, I had an uh, unboxing for you guys, but I opened up the package without filming so i'm just going to show you guys what this is that i received this is a cute little box that really is cute from timmy timu and it looks like a purse but it's not a purse so i'm going to open it up and since i already know what it is i'm just going to show you guys Sorry I didn't open it from the packaging because I just opened it up and just didn't think about filming until the end. So here's the bubble wrap stuff. And voila! This is just too cute. Look at this. Now it doesn't look like a purse. Isn't that adorable? It is so glam and so elegant. This is a mug guys. O-M-G. Thank you, Chimu. This is a mug, or you can even use it as anything, even as a um, a pen holder. If you don't want to use it as a mug, now of course you're not going to put this in your microwave because of the the brass, the gold. So I know I can't do that, but this is just adorable. Look at this. I mean, how cute is that? I love it. Super, super cute. Okay, and then it comes with a... Hold on. A little stirring spoon. I've got only one hand to film with, so bear with me. This is a cute little spoon right here. that goes in there. You know, I guess I can take it out. Why not? I've got to wash it anyway, so. This is adorable. I love it. Looks like a shovel. <laughs> it's cute. So that will go there. And then it comes with an adorable tray that you can set your cup on. That's the back. This is too cute. I love it. Isn't that pretty? With the gold trimming around it. So let me go ahead and set it up for you guys. Because I didn't want to wait till I got to where I'm staying at. Oops. Don't break it, Liz. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I'm just being so destructive. Oh, my gosh. My husband's in the car, too, and he's laughing at me. <laughs> anyway, this is so pretty. Now don't drop it. And then you will set it on there like that. Careful. Ooh, gotta be careful. Anyway, isn't that cute? So that's what I wanted to show you guys. The newest addition to my coffee mugs. 
I got to really be careful of this one because it's just so, so glam. I just have to remind myself not to put it in the microwave. Otherwise, we're going to have sparks everywhere. Okay. I had already started opening it up, as you can see, and I totally forgot. So, that's okay. You guys can still see what it is. I just bought a new phone case for my iPhone which I love this is so pretty bling 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 now you know me I love me some bling this is so glamorous and you know I like all these little details that it has on it look at the pearl it's so pretty the little pink stones and uh, what does this say I don't feel like taking it out but this little thing right here, it says, let me see if I can take this off. Come on, get off, get off, get off. They put these stickers on the back of the packages. Oh, Chanel, what is that? No, it says, I can't read it. I Now, I have my surgery, but you guys got to bear with me. It says, par something like a um what do you call it perfume bottle number five i guess that's number five anyway it's cute it's pretty and very glam so this is supposed to fit the phone that i have which is the iphone 13 pro and I just picked up some of these these are the little diamonds that go on the back of my of my iPhone you know the the uh, eyes it's just to decorate the little eyes a little bit so it's kind of like diamondish stone type things because I'm in the car and I'm doing this with one hand so but I can at least show you what it looks like see these go on around the um, the lens and it has little diamonds around it so you know I have to look my phone's got to look cute and jazzy <laughs> and this is the little cleaning little uh, pads that they give you you got to use number one first and number two just wiping wiping the uh, my phone and then I guess wiping these down and I guess you just no, I don't think you wipe these down. I wipe my lenses from the phone. And then peel this off of the round thing. And then just attach it to the lens like that. So, I'm excited to have something cute like this. So, <laughs> Okay, we made it back here where we are. <laughs> anyway, I know I look so funny with this patch on my eyes, guys. My eye, I should say. Let me look at it straight. It's a mess. They actually don't want me to wear my, um, what do you call it, the eyebrow pencil. But look, I got to have some eyebrows on because it's not permanently tattooed on. And I was thinking about getting that too, but I hear they're kind of pricey. You know, have your eyebrows tattooed and they have different shapes and things. Mm. I think that's something worthwhile getting because... So I don't have to wear any more eyebrow pencil. I would love that. I'm going to get ready, have some dinner pretty soon. I'm going to make me a salad. Let me show you my salad, by the way, if you guys are interested in seeing what I'm about to eat for dinner. It's nothing super duper, and I might have some soup on the side with it. So let me go show you right quick. Mmm, doesn't that look good? This is what I'm going to have for dinner. Oh, it looks so delish. Okay, I have some mixed um, lettuce that has the spinach leaves and uh, spring mix. I have some of these, um, I got a couple of carrots and I have a few that I cut up. I have some olives, a few olives, some onions. Uh, now this cheese here is not the real cheese. I forgot, let me show you what it looks like. It's not cheese with milk. Uh, it's non-dairy. Let me show you right quick. Mmm, it's a fly in here. Mmm, oh no, oh no, oh no. Okay, this is the cheese by Daya. 
dairy free shredded cheese it tastes okay but it chews up kind of funny <laughs> but it's better for you and it's healthier doesn't have any soy is gluten free so that's what I use in this salad here and like I said I've got some onions cut up so that's gonna be real good and a little bit of tomatoes so that is delish and I cannot wait to have it yum yum and then I'm probably gonna have just a little bit of the rest of these sweet peas and just let them cool off and then I'm gonna spread them out you know put them in my salad makes it taste good like a little sweet taste with your it's like savory you know sweet and sour and I'm not into sweet and sour um, you know that sauce I don't like that type of sweet and sour but this inside of the salad it makes it taste really really good so that's what I'm gonna have for dinner